Hey everybody, it's uh, Steve from Next Technologies here. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be going over the Tuya Smart Life app for access control. If you don't have it, you can go to your Play or App Store, download it, create your account, and then log in. Okay, we'll go ahead and open the app. Um, as you see here, um, under all devices, I have just my access, my single door access controller programmed in. And it's labeled front door because uh, this is hooked up to the front entrance of the building. Um, if you have multiple doors, they will be in the list here and you can select them by the door you want to modify or operate or check on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on front door. And you see, we come to this main landing page here. So um, you see this uh, main icon here that says press to unlock. We can go ahead and press that if we want to unlock the door uh, manually without having to use a key fob or anything. So there we go, it's open. And then it's gonna close after the five second timer runs out, which you can also customize. So. This door is set to unlock for five seconds. However, you can set it to any time period you want, or you can have it so it stays toggled open until you press it again. Um, we'll go over some of the very basic stuffs first. So if you look at the bottom, you'll see where it says 1904, me remote unlock front door. If we click there, this is just gonna bring up your, um, event history. So who's been coming out, what time, all that type of thing. And you can narrow it down by time the, or, or by user if you just want to check what a single user has been doing. Um, and you see how it says me, remote unlock front door. However, you'll also see me used by code if they entered a code or if you um, use the fob, it'll show you that you unlocked from, from a car or key fob. Um, okay, so we'll go back. Um, next, you're going to see member manage. Um, right here, administrator, that's me. That's my account. So I have all the access to change, add users, delete them, modify them. However, over at the right is ordinary member. And this is where you would normally add like your employees that shouldn't have access to manage the system only use the system with, let's say, their FOB or their their key, um, their key pin pad code. Um, so how this is going to work is we're going to add a new member at the top right. You'll see a plus-like looking icon. We're going to click that. And we will give them a name, and we'll just call them employee1. Um, and where it says administrator, we're going to remove that because I don't want this employee to have access to manage the system only to operate it. Um, you can put their phone or email if you wish. And then at the top right, we're gonna go next step. All right, now I don't have a fingerprint reader. If I did, I could add uh, my fingerprint to allow access. Um, the reader I do have is both a card reader and it has a keypad for keypad access to assign um, a code. So, for example, if an employee, this employee in particular, uh, forgets his um, access card or fob at home for some reason, then he has another option to get into the building using his uh, backup code. Um, so we'll go ahead and add a card, which is at the bottom there. And we're gonna go to the plus like looking icon that says add. And then it says how to add the card, which basically you just swipe on the reader and it'll automatically add it for you. So I'm gonna go start add. I'm gonna take my card for this employee and swipe it on the reader. And then you're gonna see it was a success. And we can just name this card name, um, you know, employee. Employee one card. Done. All right, now let's add a code for him. Um, so we're going to go where it says code, press add. And let's just give him a random code of 730730. Um, code name, we'll put employee code. 
and we can save that. All right, now that we've done this, we want to test. So first of all, I'm going to present my fob to the reader and make sure it opens the door. And it does. And we will wait for this to lock. And then we want to test our keypad or our pin pad code. So I'll enter it now, 730730, enter and it unlocks the door. Okay, so now that we have those two things set up, I'll go through a few other things with you guys. Um, at the bottom, we see effective time it is set to forever. Um, so that means it's always valid and I'd have to go delete this employee. Um, and you can see at the top right, it says delete user. Um, that's what you would click and then confirm that if you wanted to delete. However, let's go back to effective time and it says forever, but you can customize this and say, you know, it's only valid from this date, from the effective date to the expiry date. And then you can, if you want to turn on repeat, you can also narrow it down to say it's only effective, like they can only enter the building from the start time to the end time. And then let's say we want to take down um, Saturday or Sunday because that employee does only works weekdays, we can deselect those. And what that's going to do is only allow him to use his uh, fob to enter the building during working hours. And um, also, if you want to put an expiry date, you can. Um, if, if not, then if you don't need any of this, just keep it as forever. Okay, so we'll go back. Um, and, and you can do that for the code and for the card. So if we go into code, um, you can delete your code here. Um, and if you go to card, you can delete the card there without having to actually remove the user. You can just remove or change his code, or if he loses his fob, just um, delete his fob, assign him a new one without having to delete um, the entire user. Okay, so we'll go back from here. Um, and that, that's basically how you add and delete everybody. If we go back to the main menu, you can add, you'll see it says temporary code, which is great because um, this is a good thing. Like, let's say, for example, you have a service technician that is expected to come to your building, let's say tomorrow between, you know, he said he'd be there between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. You know, he'll just show up when, when he can get there. Well, you can either, where it says code type once, you could assign him a one-time code, which means that um, once he uses this code, it automatically deletes. He can only use it again in the building once, and then it's no longer valid. Or you can go to um, cyclicity, which means um, we will put in the code. So let's uh, just enter 720, 720, and we can put in the code name. So we'll put, um, you know, service tech. And then we can also do the effective date. So he's coming tomorrow. So we'll say, let's go to the 25th and it expires on the 26th. Okay. So that's going to give him access just for the one 24 hour period. And then after that, it's going to um, remove his access. Um, at that point, you can just um, email or text or give this code to your service technician and tell him it's valid for 24 hours. And he can use this to enter the building when he needs to do his work and then not have to worry about remembering to come into the app and, and um, assign this again. So there we go. Um, you can hit save and then done. And you can even share it right from the app actually. Um, okay, so that's how you add a temporary code. Now I wanna go over to the setting area um, where it says remote unlock setting. Um, so right now with this on, both employees and admin users have that manual option to unlock the door and lock it that we tap to unlock the door at first. However, let's say 
you don't want um, the employees to be able to use that remote unlock. They, they you want them to actually have to be at the physical building using a fob or a key code, then you can turn that off, confirm it. And now only the admins will have access to that remote unlock um, option, but not the employees. Automatic lock, this is on and I have my lock time set for 10 seconds. Um, that means that the door releases for 10 seconds. I can narrow that down to five if I want. Automatic lock where it, if I turn this off, that will mean that when I use a card or a code, the door will open and remain open until I use a card or a code again to um, lock it again. Or if I tap the lock button at the front screen, that door will remain open until I tap to lock it again. So that is how you change that there. And this also system has a option for a doorbell so you can adjust your doorbell um, here, your, your volume. So that's for um, just random people come by, like let's say couriers that are unexpected, they come to drop off a package. They can press the doorbell button and you'll be notified that somebody is at your front door. All right, so that kind of goes over the very basics and we'll just go back into the history and you're gonna see here, um, you know, employee unlock with code. That was when we, I was testing that code 730730. And below that it says unlock with card front door. That is when I presented the fob. Um, and then below that, you're going to see a uh, remote unlock front door. That is when I use my phone and press this button in the center here where it says press to unlock. So it tracks all the activity to this um, access control system is a very, very good system because it is so easy to operate. You do not have to be on the physical site to manage and operate it. Um, it's very easy to set temporary codes for visitors you are expecting. Um, it's very easy to add delete fobs. It's very easy to add delete codes. You can have permanent fobs and codes or validity periods. Um, so it has probably every option you're going to use um, or going to need. And without the need for really expensive software and licensing and a dedicated computer on site to run it, you don't need any of that. You just download this app, um, assign yourself as an admin user, and then you are in control of your system. You can control it anytime from anywhere in the world with your cell phone. Um, and you don't have to go all the way in sight um, to change settings when somebody loses their fob or you, you know, an employee quits and you need to remove him from the access system prompt. Um, you can just do it right away. You don't have to run the site to do it and turn on your computer, load up the software, go through everything. This is just a really efficient, um, excellent way of doing things. It's a great app. Um, again, that's the Tuya based access control system. Um, and you can run it all from this very, very easy to use app. I hope you like this video. And thank you very much for watching.